All right, guys, in the last video, we unboxed this solar panel, but now we need to test it. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna hook it up to this Renogy Rover 40 amp charge controller. We're gonna use this wiring along with these XT90 connectors. And we're gonna go from the panel to this and from this to this lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a four cell 38 amp hour battery. So that's it. So I'm gonna make all the connections necessary to hook this to this. This is almost completely discharged. I use this to charge all out of like phones and smaller devices. So this thing's pretty much dead. So it'll be a really good test to hook this up, get it all working, and we're gonna go outside with it and I'll show y'all how much power we're getting out of this because this should be able to tell us the watts and we'll be able to get a good idea how good this panel actually works. It's a little overcast today, so I don't know if we're gonna get full power out of it. So if we don't, you know, it is what it is, but we're gonna do our very best and we'll just kind of see what we can do with this little small setup. And if this works really good, you know, maybe we can put this in a box and make some sort of little portable, extremely portable setup with it because the panel's not overly large and it's got its own little feet and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod, get the soldering equipment out. We're gonna get all this stuff soldered up, but we'll take it outside and give it a try. All right, first we'll strip this. Like I said, it's a nice plug battery for it. I don't have it even that has that. You see that? Take this, put it over that, you know what? I guess I'll put, I don't know if you know. These are community labeled as well. If you never use XT, 60s, XT, 90s, they're very nice to use for both of this. That way all your stuff is uh, modular and all that good stuff. All right, hopefully I can see that. Not very well, I'm trying. Let's try this. If you guys are enjoying the videos, let me know in the comments. Tell me I'm doing good. If I'm doing bad, tell me I'm doing bad. I'm gonna be mad at you. I'm trying to get better at making videos and I'm screwing up, tell me. Let's go. Okay. Also, it's not gonna be water resistant or nothing, but I'm not gonna leave it outside all the time. Won't breathe fumes. Okay, I think that's good. The focus looks blurry as hell, hopefully it's not. Is it blurry? I don't think the focus is very good. That one's done. Put it around the other one at the spot. I don't know how you all can see that. It's blurry as hell, I'm sorry. I'm really trying here. Come on, bitch. I don't know why it looks blurry. I don't know how you get this to focus, but... Come on, strip. You know, sometimes these work great, sometimes they do not work great. Okay, there we go. Should be a little bit easier to solder up. Ow. Pinched me. Okay, put the bullet side on. Right, that's a female. Okay. Good. All 
All right, that's already an XT60, so we're just gonna make another XT60 pigtail and call it good. All right, I found this in my supply box. It's already got an XT60 on it, and I have a female to female adapter, so we'll be able to hook these together. So I'm just gonna snip the uh, audio terminals off this. Put this back. Soldering is fun until you breathe in the fumes and it makes your lungs burn from the inside. All right, good enough. I'm just smoke the after off. I'm holding my breath the whole time so I don't breathe in toxic soldering fumes. Okay, I think we're good. Let's clean up a little bit. All right, let me get all this stuff cleaned up and we'll get it all connected and I'll show you all what we got. All right, so this is going to be our solar input. So if you look here, we have PV positive, PV negative. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shove that in there. <clears throat> okay, PV negative. I think PV stands for photovoltaic, but I put it wrong. <clears throat> okay, and then our output. Bat pause, bot neg, so same thing with a little harness. Like I said, it's a quick and dirty setup, but we will get some tangible results and kind of see what we got going on. The cool thing is though, with this simple setup, you could probably power quite a bit of stuff. I mean, 100 watts is good enough to charge most things. I mean, you're not gonna be able to pull that continuous if the sun's in it out, but you know, power tool chargers, cell, cell phones for sure. I mean, you could make a hell of a cell phone charger with this. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna go outside. And we're going to hook everything up. So when it's all said and done, let's move the camera. When it's all said and done, this will plug into that. And then this will plug into this. This does not have a BMS built in, so I'm going to, I have a balance plug. So I'll plug in a cell monitor just to make sure we're not going to unbalance this thing too badly. But it's completely dead now, so it should take a little bit of power before it starts doing anything wonky. But yeah, let me get you guys outside and we'll see what it does. Hello, moose. Hello, boys. Hello. Sorry, guys, my dogs are excited to see me. Hello, boys. I wasn't ready. All right, step one this is our adapter. It's a male to male bank, and then to the charge controller. Hello. Bam. So this should power up. I'll give this a second to do what it wants to do. Let me move, move, get all my stuff set up. Alright guys. Battery is connected. We use our special adapter to go from the two female XT60 to, uh, to make them work together. This is the cell voltages right now uh, it's pretty much dead it's at 14% so if you look here it's at 13 volts and I'll go to our so this is our amps going wait where is it at amps going in from the panel to the battery so we'll go ahead and plug in the solar panel and the solar panel set like that okay that's plugged in, so we'll give this thing a minute to start producing energy. And as soon as that light comes on, it'll begin MPPing or whatever this thing does. So this is an MPP charge controller. So it's really efficient and it'll do all the things you want it to do, I guess. Okay, there we go. Five, six, seven, 7.6 amps. So let me grab my phone and we'll do some quick math. All right guys, so we're getting 7.3, 7.4. I saw 7.6 for a minute. So 7.6 times 13 is 98. So we're getting damn near 100 watts of power out of this Thunderbolt Harbor Freight solar panel. I'd say that's freaking awesome. I'm really happy with that. If you're gonna build this system yourself, you probably wanna add fuses on either side of the charge controller just for safety. And that's about it. So I'm gonna let this thing charge. And as you can see, the battery is, the voltage is rising. So, I don't know how good you can see that. I know it's really bright out here. Probably not for really bad at all, but 
Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna let this charge this battery for a little while, but man, I'm really, really happy with this panel. So in a future video, we're gonna take this and this panel, add some batteries, put it inside of a, a case or some, something like that. We'll make a cool little, you know, portable power sta uh, station we can use to charge power tool batteries and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, give me a thumbs down if you didn't. And if you have questions about how to do any of this, leave me a comment. I do my very best to respond to all my comments. I don't have a whole lot yet, but I do appreciate the support I get in my videos and thank you guys very much and I hope you have a good day.